everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a back massage demo and we are using Beauty Kitchen's Inspire Me Brightening and Toning Body Oil. First thing I like about this product is it's got the dropper. So you've got control of the oil. Sometimes people will say that they don't like working with oils, even if it's a body oil that they use on themselves because they're worried that they use too much or they don't like the greasiness because they're overusing it or they feel as if they can't control it. So with the dropper, you do have complete control. So doing this demo on our model today, a few things I want to point out to you. Um, we've spoken about this before on the channel. Expose the back as far as you can, but keep your client comfortable. Um, personally, I don't think there's any need to expose too far down. Um, each to their own though, um, I don't judge, but likewise, um, I ask people not to judge me, just appreciate that you always chat with your client about what they feel comfortable with. Secondly, what I like to point out is, with um, massages, some people insist that the client takes everything off. Um, other people insist that they take top half off. As you can see here, I'm more than happy for my client to take off their underwear and then either just keep it placed underneath them or I'll unhook it for them and hook it back. It's their choice. Um, it's just about client comfort. And so long as you're not touching anything with the product and possibly getting any oil damage on it, it is between you and the client. So I deliberately left that in here just to let you know that it is just up to the individual and it really isn't a case where there's one size for everyone and there's one rule for everyone. So it's always nice to appreciate that everyone works differently as long as we maintain our professionalism. So working with the Inspire Me range, what you'll see straight away is that you've just got very easy slip and slide. The quality of this product means that you are not, you're not basically faced with an exceptionally oily area to work on. There's definitely product there and it's very easy to work with, but it's not to the point where your hands are sliding and it's very difficult to do your massage manipulations. It's extremely easy to do your manipulations to control where the movements are. And that to me is the mark of a good product. What's good about this product is it is a non-greasy formulation. The scent is lovely. Um, when they say grapefruit and lemongrass, they really do mean it. It's got a lovely citrusy scent. So it very quickly fills the room. And if you and your client are fans of the citrus scent, then immediately your client's going to start to relax and enjoy it. Remember though, this is a brightening and toning body oil. So we're using it for a back massage demonstration. You can very easily just pop this on, as we've said before, after a bath or shower, when your skin's moist and damp but not wet just pop it on anywhere where you just want to see a difference and improve the the look of the skin and it'll uh, sink in and start to basically create the effect within the body just in a matter of minutes just make sure that the skin's touch dry you can pop on your clothes and that's you for the rest of the day um, the brand themselves say that it's perfect for cellulite for stretch marks and those obvious places would be stomachs legs um, your arms quite often as well and of course most of us would love to have a toned derriere so that's another great place to put it on. So when you're using this product as a therapist for a back massage you can see here that it's very effective for helping us just to loosen off all the tension, all the tightness. The great thing again about essential oils is not only do they smell good they're having effects within the system so straight away you know that your client will be relaxing. You know that the scent fills the air. So you're relaxing as a therapist and it's a multi-layered treatment. The other good thing about using the Inspire Me range is that they are suitable for vegans. It's never animal tested. So you know that you've got a very simple and easy to follow ingredients trail. What you tend to find now in our industry is that both us and the client are questioning the the product, the ingredients, the sustainability, the ethical edge. We want to know this more than we ever did before. You'll find that if a client doesn't understand an ingredient, it's more likely now than ever that they will ask you, what is this ingredient? 
what's the effect and is it sustainable, is it ethical, is it natural. We should always remember though that even if a product does contain chemicals per se, everything is a chemical. Even our aromatherapy oils are technically broken down into their chemical names, their essential oil names. They all have an effect on the body. So we have to make sure that we don't feel that an unrecognisable name equals something that we can't use. It just means that in some cases, if you don't understand what an ingredient is, you do your research. But with Beauty Kitchen, everything has an ethical edge. And it's very evident that if the ingredients in it, it's natural, it's effective and it's going to be a very pleasant product to use. So when you're stretching out the back, remember, you're feeling when you're doing a massage on someone else, you are feeling for the tension. You're feeling for any areas when there are knots or nodules and you're warming up the area with your effleurage and your deeper movements and the friction that's caused between the skim to skim and using a good quality product will aid that. You can always tell when you're using a product that's not quite doing what you want it to do and it either absorbs way too quickly or sometimes you just feel as if you're not getting the traction that you need. So don't be afraid to try different products. Don't be afraid to go for independent brands such as Beauty Kitchen. You want to see if there's a brand out there that could fit perfectly in your salon and be your USP, your unique selling point. It's quite common now that people will seek out a vegan friendly, natural, organic brand that no one else really knows about so that you've got your salon secret and there's a reason why people want to come to your salon. So Beauty Kitchen could be a great place to start. But remember as well, if it's just you buying it for yourself, do your research. Beauty Kitchen is sold in a lot of different places, Holland and Barrett. They've got their own website online. It's a great brand to investigate and see for yourself if you like trying something completely different that's not just your standard body moisturiser, body oil, anti-cellulite, anti-stretch mark treatment. Try something different and see what you think. Remember, if you do try the brand, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought. And if there's something within the Beauty Kitchen brand that you would like us to do a demonstration on in the channel, then feel free to let us know too. As you can see here doing the back massage as well, it feels so good to stretch out that area. Again, if you work in a salon and you're stretching out a client's back, you know yourself how quickly that client can relax and wow, do you see the difference? But if you're in the house, just proceed with caution. If someone's just doing a little back massage on you and you just want them to do it very lightly, very gently, then you're normally guided by what naturally feels good. But just remember, avoid the spine. You really don't want to work directly over the spinal area. In the professional salon, in our industry, we're trained how to do our movements and we're trained when we're doing manipulations near the spine. But if you are just doing it yourself for relaxation or you're doing it on someone else, just be aware that it's a very natural thing to do. A lot of it's instinctive. But if in doubt, don't do it. And if someone's in pain and it's actually not a muscle relaxing, feels good to release that tension style pain, then please don't do it. Just avoid it and just do very gentle effleurage, which are basically stroking movements. You can't go wrong with that. And as you can see, as we come to the end of our back massage demonstration, there's still so much movement in that product it's not needing to be massaged into the skin but at the same time there's no problems with manipulating and doing the massage movements over the area it's just the perfect balance and that says a lot about the quality of the product and by that time you've really worked it in and you'll start to see an effect with these products though to really 
see results in what you want to tackle. If it is the appearance of cellulite, if it is the appearance of stretch marks, get into the habit of using it daily. And then either dry off the area so there's no residue for when you put any clothing back on. Or if it's after a bath or shower, just make sure that it's dry before you pop your clothes on. So that's us. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.